Hey guys, um, I decided after watching several videos that I want to try to get my wardrobe down to a minimalist one. Uh, granted, I am pregnant, so this is going to be kind of like the first purge. And after I'm done being pregnant, I will probably do a second one with things that don't fit anymore. But, uh, we have... We have an overflowing closet. That side, that side there is mine. I've already started some sorting, so I have some long sleeve sweaters, jeans over there, some random pants, one t-shirt, uh, what is that? That's a short sleeve sweater right there, and then a dress. So, this giant pile is mostly maternity clothes. So those are what I'll be living in in the next few months. But let me open up this. You can see how crammed full it is. And that's all t-shirts and tank tops that I wear basically all year round. And this next drawer is pants and shirts. Or not pants. Pants and shorts. I got some shorts in there. And then this guy down here is all long sleeve and three quarter sleeve t shirts. And then I will take you. Actually, there's this guy, which these bras are too small. These underwear I don't wear. Uh, so then that's the underwear drawer, the other bras, like, I have the ones that I wear on a regular basis out, and then socks in there. Then we go over here. More clothes on there. I have, like, wintry socks and really, really thin socks in there that I'll have to go through. These are summer tank tops and things. Uh, this is like pajamas and loungewear. And then way down here at the bottom is like my lingerie drawer. And then into the closet. So that's my top shelf. Uh, that purple sweater and that aqua sweater are maternity clothes. So they will be staying. And then my clothes that end. Where do they end? That's Travis's, so that's right there where the, the divider is in our closet. That's where my clothes end and his clothes start. So there's that. And then I have some more things in this little shelf guy over here. So it's gonna be a lot of work. So I'm going to start with the initial pull out of everything and uh, get it all on the floor with the rest of my clothes that I already started sorting and to get it all sorted and organized and then go through and purge or keep whatever either way but yeah so I will probably come back when I'm done with the purging or yeah all right guys so this is my initial sort of everything into their piles it is just crazy town so start right here these are my skirts uh, my long sleeve sweaters and jackets basically anything that was long sleeve that came out of my closet uh, denim, non-denim bottoms are over there, tank tops, long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, that pink thing and the black one underneath it are short sleeve sweaters, vests, my humongous pile of dresses, which I thought was a lot smaller than that, and uh, three-quarter sleeve tops. So now it is time to go through this disaster and figure out what is staying and what is going. 
And I know already I'm going to have a hard time because a lot of my dressier clothes are things that I have made. So like right off the top, I know I made that top right there. Uh, this skirt, that skirt, and that skirt. And actually the red one too. So it's going to be a tough one for me to go through all this stuff and get rid of everything. But uh, I'm going to try. So time to turn this off and get to it. I almost forgot to show you guys over here is the pile that I'm already getting rid of because I went through my lingerie and uh, pajama drawer off camera and my shoes that were in my closet. So that is my very empty closet and only two of those pairs of shoes are mine. All right, so after my first go through this pile on my bed is my my keep pile it's considering my bed is up to my mid calf or my mid thigh I mean so comes up to here it's about even with the bottom of my chest this is my goodbye pile which when I shove my feet underneath it it's again up to mid thigh on me so and this is also a keep pile so basically this is if I wear this in this after having baby I will keep it and if I don't then it's going to go away so I think for my first go around this isn't really that bad um, it is significantly less than what I had before obviously cuz that's that's a pretty pretty decent pile down there on the floor um, so now I get to put it all away but, uh, I think I did good. I got this drawer so that it's not quite as full. This drawer is practically empty now. Um, the only things that I didn't pull out of here were this bra that I have put studs on myself. Um, this shrugs jacket thing that I wore for my wedding. And then I have a circle sweater in there, oops, that I made for myself. So now I get to put all that back on hangers and fold it back up and put it back in the uh, appropriate drawers. All right, guys, I'm probably going to make this into two videos. So this is going to be the aftermath. So I didn't really go through my one sock drawer yet, but I will later. Um, and I guess I will turn this camera and go around and show you the rest. All right, so let's start over here with this drawer that's already open. So this was my t-shirts and tank tops, which it still is. So this is all t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts up to here. So this stuff in the back is t-shirts. The stuff in the front is tank tops. My It Works shirts. More It Works shirts and regular work shirts. That. And down here, all my pants actually all fit in here. So over here is denim, uh, leggings and jeggings, more leggings and jeggings that are just black, and then shorts and capris in the end. And then down here on the bottom, sorry that t-shirt is dirty so that's why it's there. Three quarter length sleeve t-shirts. Or tops, I should say, not necessarily just t-shirts. Two pairs of sweatpants that I didn't have in the initial video because I just didn't. And then these are long sleeve t-shirts. And then over here in my plastic drawers, this one is empty. <laughs> and then I showed you this one and this one down here earlier. And then this is, of course, my closet. I still begin and end at the same spot. I have, what is this, five fewer hangers in there? So that's what didn't go back in. But in reality, so I have dresses start there and end right here, which some of them weren't even hung up the first time. So that bit is dresses. 
And then I have two of these multi-hanger guys of skirts, and there's one free spot on this one that my missing maxi skirt will go on. I have a red and a burgundy pair of dress pants, this striped pair of dress pants, pair of jogger style dress pants, and a pair of, I don't know what you call that, Aztec stripe print dress pants. And then this is the beginning of the tops and blouses, which this section is all tank tops. I found that I have a lot of tank tops, but I like to layer things anyway, so that's okay. And then these three are short sleeved. These four or three quarters or long sleeves, two vests and one kind of jackety thing and three like button front shirts, one chambray and then two plaid, plaid, um, what's the right term for it? I can't think of it right now. And then I have my regular like sweater, cable knit sweaters, uh, dressy, more dressy, I should say, more dressy, Come on, brain, think of the word. <sighs> More dressy cardigans, that's right there. And then my less dressy cardigans and zip front hoodies and things like that. I think overall I did a pretty good job. As I went through things, I did find more that I did get rid of. So this pile has grown some since the last time that you saw it. So next is going to be actually getting rid of those things. Um, I have a bunch of stuff down in our basement that is like garage sale stuff, but all the bins that I have are full, so they will probably go in garbage bags for now. Um, yeah, I think, I think I did pretty good. I have half, basically I got rid of half of my long sleeve shirts and three quarter sleeve shirts and half of my t-shirts, which actually I got rid of more, no, not quite half of my t-shirts. I got rid of half my tank tops. But it's just a matter of sitting down and being like, when was the last time I wore it? And if I can't remember, I shouldn't be keeping it. So I am starving Marvin's. This has taken like two hours and I haven't eaten yet, so uh, I think it's time to go downstairs and get some breakfast. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.